dendrograms are generated when we perform hierarchical clustering of data. But what exactly is a dendrogram and how are we going to use it? In this video, I'm going to explain how the clustering algorithm works and how the results are summarized as a dendrogram diagram. And finally, I'm going to show you how to work with dendrograms using Jump software. For purposes of illustration, I'm going to work with two dimensional data. So here's my data points and I'm going to label them to make it easy to reference them. The algorithm for hierarchical clustering seeks points that are close together and the closest points are D and E. So these data points become agglomerated into a single cluster. We then repeat that procedure and next we find G and H. And if we repeat again, we find A and B. But we not only agglomerate data points to other data points, data points can agglomerate to clusters. So next we see that F is closest to this cluster of G and H. So these become a cluster with three data points. And again, the process continues. So now we're down to three clusters. And if I continue the process, we ultimately get to a case where all of the data points are in a single cluster. Let's take a look now at the representation of hierarchical clustering using a dendrogram diagram. I have my graph with my data points and I've made a list of labels for each data point. So what's the first thing that we did? Well, first of all, we grouped these points, D and E, because they were the closest. So let me indicate that by joining D and E together in this list. The next grouping was between G and H. So let me indicate that on this diagram. So this is what we have. And the key point is this, the length of this line here is longer than this line. And that is because this distance here between G and H is larger than this distance between D and E. These lines are the beginning of our dendrogram diagram and the lengths of the lines are proportional to the separation of the points. So let's continue this process. The next step was for us to group these two points together. So let me mark that. Again, these lines are going to be longer. Next, it gets interesting. The next level of agglomeration was between this point F and the group of points G and H. So now all three points form a single cluster. And I can mark that by indicating that F joins with G and H. And then the process continues. And here is the equivalence dendrogram using Jump software. So let's take a look at how I produced this. So here I am in Jump software. Here's my data and to perform the cluster analysis, I come to the analyze menu and from clustering, I can choose hierarchical cluster. I can select the columns that are going to represent the data for the clustering and optionally the label column. And this produces my dendrogram. Let me just put it over here. I find it particularly useful to add color to this dendrogram. Now at first, everything is a single color. This represents the end point where all of the data had been agglomerated into a single cluster. But these diamonds here, you can drag these and I'm now dragging to the left and I have the case where I have two clusters indicated by the colors. And if I go to three clusters, 
and maybe just leave it there you, you get a sense that I can sort of uh, replay the history uh, and come back and look at the state of the data for different numbers of clusters so this is with three and I can bring it all the way to the beginning where each data point was effectively a separate cluster and I'm going to bring that back to three two or three kind of makes sense uh, with these data so there's three clusters in this instance I hope that you've found this video helpful if you'd like to know how to use the dendrogram to identify the optimal number of clusters please let me know in the comments below and I can then discuss that with you in a future video thanks for watching and bye for now